All doing well, it's an absolutely beautiful day here at the allotment. The sun is shining just the way we like it. And I'm here for one job in particular, and that's to pick some beetroot and some chilies. And then in a flash, we will appear in the kitchen at home. And I'm gonna take you through how I'm gonna prepare the beetroot and sort of pickle it in the, the recipe that I used to put all together. So something a little bit a little bit different for today. But let's have a quick look at the at the beetroot here. So this beetroot here is a bit of a mess, you can see. Some of it's gone to seed there. I should have picked this a lot earlier. I mean, there will be some good stuff in and about there, but this stuff here that's gone to seed, it's, it's only really destined for the compost bin because it's really, really, really woody and chewy and horrible. But if we have a quick look over here, there was some spare space in and about the, the courgettes. That beat right there is a bit small. There's the odd bit that's looking okay. So we maybe pick some of that, but if we have a... If we have a little wander over here, and I'm going to have a wander down the, the path that is yet to be built. So there's some bits and pieces. I've just got to be a bit careful. And if we spin round and have a look here, there's a bit of a, a stramash of, of outdoor tomatoes, fennel, and beetroot. But this beetroot's looking pretty, pretty decent in here. Look at, me, look at the size of them. They're brilliant. So I'll tell you what, while we're here, let's just pick a couple of these out to show you what they're like so there you go that's that's a pretty good size i mean that's about the size of a tennis ball or something there so we'll get all this cleaned up trimmed tidied all sorted we'll take a home and then i'll tell you what else we'll do actually let's have a quick very quick dash into the polytunnel and by the way it's baking in here today it's 36 degrees at the moment it's roasting and it's so humid but not to worry we've got our basket of fire chili plant here you can see there's loads of red chilies on there so we'll be getting some of those picked and taking them home for the recipe so the next time you see us we'll be back in the kitchen and getting on with some stuff there back with you in just a jiffy and here we are back in the kitchen ready to cook up a storm with some of this beetroot that we picked from the allotment here it is probably no more than an hour ago i've given it a bit of a wash nothing more than that and you can see we've got all sorts of different varieties and different shapes and sizes and colors so it's your normal sort of purple one there we've got some golden beetroots and this one here is probably the it's got a pink skin on it so i think inside it'll be the sort of stripy kyogia one which will be lovely to use doesn't matter which variety you use for this i'm just going to mix all of mine in and get it all on the go at the one time we've got some other ingredients over here ready to do the sort of pickle with there's a little bit of a recipe to go with that Full disclaimer though, that came from Jamie Oliver's website, although mine's a little bit different. I've made a few improvements on it from, but I'll put a link down below to that so you can go along and have a look and see where it came from. But first things first, we're going to get the beetroot ready and prepped so we can get that on the go whilst we do some other stuff. So it's pretty simple. I'm just going to pick this, this little small one here and I'm going to take the top off and I'm going to take the bottom off. Nothing more than that. It takes the roots off, takes the bits come off the top. And I'm going to peel it. Now, some people like to cook beetroot with the skin on and then peel it afterwards. It's sometimes a little bit easier because the, the skin goes all soft and you can kind of just slide it out sometimes. But to be honest, I find that a little bit of a faff. So I prefer to peel it beforehand and then it's dead easy to collect up all my tops and tails and peelings, pop them in this bag, ready to go down there into the compost bin afterwards. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a small beetroot I've picked there and the sort of size I'm going to cook it at, I'm probably just going to half that there so they're in that sort of, that sort of size there and you can see the lovely stripes on the inside of the kyogia there. That's going to go off and cook behind me now in a pan of lightly salted water and it's going to be on a boil then simmering for around about half an hour. Whilst that's getting on the go, I'll come back to you and I'll show you how we're going to do the pickle because that's going to take a little bit of cooking as well. Back with you in just a jiffy. So that's the beetroot on the go here in the pan on the hob there, sort of simmering away. That's going to be going there, like I said before, about 30 to 45 minutes there about. There's some bigger chunks in that pan, so maybe it's about 45 minutes. If you've got smaller chunks, then, you know, it'll take a little bit, a little bit less time. Anyway, next bit, the important bit, creating the pickle that it's going to go in. I've got all the ingredients sort of set out here. And again, it's, a, it's pretty straightforward. It's not too difficult to do. And I'm just going to chuck it all in the pan here and I'll talk about how I'm going to cook it after that. So I've got 100 mils of balsamic vinegar there, straight in the pan. 
And then we've got 400 mils of white wine vinegar. And that's gonna go on there as well. Then into that, we're gonna add 200 grams of caster sugar and one teaspoon of ground coriander. It doesn't quite fit in the jar there, best made plans and all that, but we'll measure it out as best we can. And if you put a little bit extra in there, it doesn't matter too much, as long as it's not too much extra. We're gonna put the juice of half a lemon, so we'll half that, and we'll try and pop it through our hand, the juice through there, and that's just to catch any seeds that are gonna try and escape out of the lemon. There we go, almost done, and one last seed trying to escape. And there. And then we're gonna add a pinch of sea salt, and it goes, and last but not least, We've got three fresh chilies that were picked from the allotment this morning as well. We'll move that out of the way. And I'm just gonna chop the little green stalk off the top of them. And then we're gonna slice them in half lengthways and chuck them in the pan. And please remember that once you've done this, wash your hands afterwards especially if you're going to go to the loo or do anything personal after that because it's going to be a bit spicy on your fingers there so all of that has literally just been chucked in the pan there it's going to go on the hob behind me next to the beetroot and i'm going to put it up it's going to get on the boil and then again turn it down just a little bit to a bit of a a light boil heavy simmer sort of thing and i'm going to mix around mix around mix around and what you're looking for is that sugar to dissolve once the sugar's dissolved, we'll take that off the heat and it's ready to go. But what I'll do, I'll get everything on the go over here and I'll come back to you and show you how we're getting on. Back with you in just a jiffy. So a quick recap with where we are. The beetroot has been top tailed, chopped, boiled. This is it now boiled and out the pan. The pickle's been made. And when it comes out the pan, it's lovely and soft. And honestly, it's so easy to slice once it's been cooked like that. And the the beauty of doing it yourself as well, as opposed to buying one from the shop, is you can cut it to the thickness that you like, whether you like big chunks, little chunks. You don't even have to slice it. You can cut the beetroot into like quarters or you can do little baby beetroots. Anything like that is absolutely perfect. So I've got a jar and just by sheer coincidence, this jar used to have beetroot in it from Aldi and now it's gonna have my beetroot in it. But the jar has been washed, it's been cleaned, it's been sterilized and it is good to go again. So I'm gonna get a little spoon out here, dessert spoon, and what I'm gonna try and do, first of all, is catch a, a chili. And I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of the jar. And we'll just get another one, actually, because they were cut in half. So we've got two halves of the chili in the bottom there. Then we are just gonna pick up our beetroot. And you can see there, there's a mix of colors. We've got some of the golden ones. We've got some of the stripy ones. We've got some of the traditional sort of purpley coloured ones. And what you don't want to do is initially is fill this up too full. Because obviously once the pickling juice goes in there, it's going to fill it up a bit more and make it float. And you don't want it to come up above the pickle and things like that. So let's just take this spoon out of there. And if we pour this in, nice and carefully, because I don't want to lose any of this, and I'm going to make sure no extra chilies sneak out of here into the jar, because we don't want it being too overpowered. And one of them is just trying to escape there. And you want to make sure that your beetroot is well and truly covered. And that's it, done. Lid goes on the jar, nice and tight. And that's going to stay in there now probably for at least four weeks before it's ready to be eaten. Just again, it pickles the beetroot, it allows those flavours, the cumin, the little bit of salt, the chilli, and it's not really, really fiery chilli, it's just a gentle heat that goes in there, and that's going to be absolutely smashing. So I'm going to do a few more jars of these, we've got a load of beetroot still here today, we've got some here, we've got more jars over there, ready to go. So hopefully, 
you've enjoyed that. Something a little bit different for the channel, doing some things in the kitchen instead of just stuff with the allotment. So if you like it, please think about subscribing. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is click the link down below, the little red button. If you like what you've seen today, give us a thumbs up and please leave us any comments down below. Always a pleasure to read what people have to say. Anyway, that's me done for the day. Hopefully you've enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, folks.